Hello my friends and fellow Zedsies, welcome to day three for you. For me this is the night of day one, I'm gonna try and get some filming done while I am on duty. And so from my point of view, we now know that Abby is joining us. Welcome Abby, officially. Uh, Jeffrey's back, Caleb's back, Alicia's back, Graham's back, James is back, I think Tony's back? Uh, I think that's everybody uh, from where I'm sitting right now. But I just wanted to take a moment to say welcome everybody. So excited, uh, especially Abby, welcome. It's always so exciting when we have new people. But that is not the main crux of what I'm going to be talking about today. See, in my search for things that can make me happy that I'm currently on right now, I've been listening to different music than I normally do. Right now I'm not super interested in sad meditations on how I'm doing, which is more or less what I normally listen to. Right now I'm just trying to get anything to boost that serotonin. So I figure why not share with you guys some of the things I've been listening to. This isn't everything, obviously. I didn't make a full playlist of everything I'm listening to all the time. This is just like a dozen songs that make me happy. Send Me On My Way by Rusted Root. If this one sounds familiar to you, it might be because it was in both Matilda and Ice Age. I, I have looked up the lyrics so many times and I still couldn't tell you what this song is like out. But it's just so happy and so, I don't know, it feels like adventure music. I love listening to it when I'm walking somewhere or driving. It's perfect roll down the windows, put the sunglasses on, and have an adventure music. Let's Face It, I'm Cute by Eleven Acorn Lane. I first found this when I was making all my Critical Role character playlists. This one ended up on Molly Mock's playlist. It's upbeat, it's fun, it's jazzy, it's just a good time. It's the best song for when you're looking good and you need to get somewhere. Like, I listened to it when I was walking to auditions once, booked Men on Boats. Not saying it was the song, but it was probably the song. Just a Quail, Louis Ong. This is another fun, funky one. I found it because I was looking for music for my D&D character, Brina. She has a bird motif, so whenever I find a bird song, it's just like, yes! But this one wasn't really her vibe. It's a little too positive for where Brina is right now. But I absolutely love the sound of it, so I wasn't gonna just pass it by, even if it didn't fit her. So I've been listening to it a ton. It's just that funky, jazzy kind of, Less jazzy, more funky. I don't know how to describe music is what I'm realizing, but it's just a great vibe. Also, I fucking love the line, natural selection be damned, I'll be okay. Black Water by the Doobie Brothers. This one's an oldie, but a goodie. The whole thing's just like nice, fun, 70s sort of vibes. Nothing crazy, but nice. And then we get to the harmonies and oh my god! Listen, I am a sucker for a good harmony and these are good harmonies. It hits just absolutely perfectly. It's exactly what you want from a song with just harmony and it ends the song on such a perfect note. Into the Ocean by Blue October. This was another one I found while looking for a Critical Role playlist songs. If you know Critical Role, you can probably guess, but it was for Ford's playlist. Uh, I didn't really have any ocean-themed music in my repertoire when I started looking for that, and so I was really scouring trying to find stuff for him. But that year when I had my Spotify wrapped, it was very aquatic because I listened to that playlist a lot. And this was one of the ones that I listened to the most off of that playlist. There's like 
a dreamlike quality to it. It's a floating sensation almost. And I absolutely love it. Just like really an out of body experience, but in a pleasant way. Six months in a leaky boat by the split ends. Fuck it, let's do all of the ocean water themed songs at once. This one is from a New Zealand rock band and apparently it did well in a lot of English speaking countries. Um, never really became a thing in England, never really became a thing in America. Uh, apparently it's about having a nervous breakdown. I wouldn't know. I know it because the Wiggles covered it. That That is what I associate it with. Plus, there's parts where you can clap, and I love songs where you can clap. Head Over Heels by The Go-Go's, same deal, love that. Lana D by Cody Simpson. <laughs> so, for Christmas, one of my DMs, the not Caleb DM, made a playlist for me and one of the other players, and this song was on it, and it's just really cute. Like, there's nothing deep. It's just a cute early 2000s little romance song, and I think it's really nice. Would You Be So Kind by Dodie. Another cute little song. Actually, from the same playlist. But this one has pining, and I love pining. I am a widow just to shiver after all. Also, the combination of doty and happy vibes is so immaculate. This song is the color yellow, essentially. Like, I feel like I am on a picnic near a river in a field of flowers, eating strawberries with my non-existent girlfriend. Every time I listen to this song, I get just like the warmest, happiest feelings and the best imagery springs from it. And it's really nice. Dancing in the Moonlight by King's Harvest. Another oldie. And another one from the Lollymock playlist. I've always loved this song. The intro when I was little reminded me of a music box, which I always really liked in music. It's just a nice song about people dancing and it's fun and it's got that real specific 1970s male artist vibe. You know the one. I just love that. Odds Are by the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> I don't have a good explanation for this one, y'all. Uh, every song I know by the Bare Naked Ladies is just nice and fun, and this is the one that I listen to the most right now. Just nice. Stories by Lily Fafaro. Lily Fafaro wrote a collection of songs, one for each member of the Mighty Nine, and this is the song that she wrote for Matt. It's just a simple, beautiful song about the beauty of storytelling and creation with those that we care about, especially obviously applying to critical role, but also just to all creatives and artists in general who collaborate, and it's beautiful and wonderful, and I absolutely adore Lily Fafaro, and I'm stoked for when the Vox Machina songs come out. And last, but certainly not least, Rabbit Hole by Sturzy. So, I actually know this artist. We went to school together here at BW. We were actually in King Henry VI Part Two together, so this one's extra special. Um, I remember driving a good 20 minutes to go to a coffee shop where he was performing and it, it was a really nice time. We all had a really great time. It was, actually it was right when I had gotten my car. I'd gotten it like that weekend because nobody knew I had it yet. I might have driven from the dealership to the coffee shop. But regardless, that was the first time that I heard Rabbit Hole and I fell in love with it. And now he's produced it and put it on Spotify and people are listening to it, people who don't even necessarily know him. And he's got another song that's out and I know he's working on more stuff and I'm just so proud and so excited and I still love the song just as much, if not more, 
than when I first heard it. So yeah, that is some music that makes me happy. The dozen songs that spark joy for me, I suppose. Check them out if you're interested in music and smiling, I, I guess. I don't know. It's nice, so, you know, listen to it. And if you have songs that make you happy, let me know so I can listen to them and maybe not be sad. All right, my friends and fellow headsies, I'll see you.